now you seeing is the medial surface of the cerebral hemisphere so on the uh, on the medial surface <clears throat> first identify the important landmarks is the slide visible yes sir okay so on the medial surface you find is the corpus callosum because it's the medial surface of the two cerebral hemispheres which are facing each other uh in the medial longitudinal fissure and the separate vertebral fox cerebri and the band of commissural fibers the joints is called corpus callosum corpus callosum has different parts this anterior portion is called the genu then there's a body then posterior is the splenium and this is the uh, you know this is called the you know terminal gyrus this is called the terminal gyrus right and there you find is this fornix and in between will be a septum that's called the septum pellucidum and down below to the fornix is this area called the thalamus right actually this also is in continuation you know this is plenium and this continues as lamina and gyrus terminalis will be just anterior to that right so this is lamina terminalis and gyrus terminalis anterior to that okay so you can see that this is lamina terminalis this is like you know i told you the parts of this corpus callosum genu body splenium fornix and all so this is lamina terminalis and just anterior to that will be the para terminal gyrus and anterior to that there will be small little two sulcus and this will be the anterior and posterior para olfactory sulci anterior and posterior para olfactory sulci and this will divide into this gyrus that's called para olfactory yeah mera iska koi pata nahi hello this is para olfactory gyrus okay now studying about the different sulci here just above to this corpus callosum here you find is a depression along the superior margin of this corpus callosum and that's called callosal sulcus this is called callosal sulcus right and just above sorry above to that you find is this cingulate sulcus right this cingulate sulcus reaches up to you know the three sulcus there on the suprolateral sulcus which are cutting this supramedial border and are reaching onto the medial surface as well this was the central sulcus this was the post central sulcus this was the pre central sulcus right so all the three sulcus when they reach on the medial surface remember that this cingulate sulcus it reaches and it joins to this post central sulcus got it then because the two sulcus anterior and posterior uh pre uh, pre and post central sulcus they reach here and that's why these gyrus also pre central and post central gyrus they will reach here on the medial surface together this is a u shaped this is a u shaped gyrus and that's called para central lobule very important significance about this let me tell you now as you know that the pre central and post central gyrus they are motor and sensory homunculus they have the representation of the body parts somato sensory organization of the different body parts and the representation is such that the head is lower end pe and you have inverted image of the human body onto this uh, gyrus pre and post central gyrus so let me tell you that the in the paracentral lobule it will be you know from the knee joint till the leg portion like legs from the knee to the legs that mean leg and the foot that will be represented on the paracentral lobule and very important is the bowel and bladder the area supplied by pudendal nerve the perineum 
that also will be represented on the paracentral lobule and just uh, and, you know mutate fast mute kar do kaun hai ye म्यूट कर दो ब्लड सप्लाई तुम्हें बढ़ा दी गई है सो व्हाट विल बी द ब्लड सप्लाई ऑफ दिस मीडियल सरफेस पढ़ा भी दी गई है और मैंने भी पढ़ाया भी थी दैट इट्स द मेजर ब्लड सप्लाई ऑन द मीडियल सरफेस विल बी बाय एंड सेरेब्रल आर्टरी एंड ऑन द लेटल सरफेस इट विल बी बाय द मिडिल सेरेब्रल आर्टरी so it is very commonly asked in the if there is like you know uh, infarction of the anterior cerebral artery so what will happen so usme kya hai lower limbs mein below the knee there will be paralysis as well as the bowel and bladder incontinence ho sakta hai theek hai kyunki is area mein and this area also the blood supply also reaches around 1 oh, inch uh, area on the suprolateral surface along to the supromedial bore so that will be again i think i'll remind me if i'll be teaching you about the blood supply at that time concepts mein batata ja raha hu abhi se thoda thoda jo jo cheez relevant aa jati hai then behind the splenium you find here is the supra splenial sulcus right and look here now because i was telling ki occipital lobe has an exuberant growth and because of that growth there is this uh, you know humne jo abhi stem ki baat kari thi stem to yahan pe bhi tha ek lateral sulcus ka and there is another stem now this is called the stem of calcarine sulcus that stem of calcarine sulcus divides into two one is called the calcarine sulcus this calcarine sulcus reaches to the occipital pole while this uh, branch from the calcarine sulcus that is called the parieto occipital sulcus this you know is an example of secondary sulcus right this is being folded because uh, found because of the secondary factor so this is an example of secondary sulcus parieto occipital while this calcarine sulcus is an example of complete sulcus complete sulcus hone se kya hai you know it will go deep inside and it will form an indent on posterior horn of the lateral ventricle theek okay? hai so remember that calcarine sulcus is a complete sulcus okay then here on the inferior uh, inferior say medial surface on the temporal actually it's not medial it's actually the inferior surface inframedial rather kyunki inferior surface of the cerebral hemisphere is not very well defined and in fact the in you know inframedial border is also not very well defined you can see it's called the medial orbital border this much portion right and this much portion is called the medial occipital border but they they have very, they are very ill defined here because <clears throat> the inferior and the medial surface merge here so here you find is there are two sulci here one is called the collateral the median one is called the collateral sulcus and the other one is called the you know occipito temporal sulcus right on the medial surface or inframedial surface you can say and because of these two sulcus there will be gyrus formed right so this will be lateral occipito temporal gyrus then you have a middle occipito temporal gyrus and medial to the collateral sulcus will be para hippocampal gyrus right and collateral sulcus is also an example of complete sulcus so remember that collateral sulcus it's not written here but collateral sulcus also goes deep inside and it indents the inferior horn of the lateral sulcus both of this indents the posterior horn of lateral sulcus the calcarine and collateral will indent the inferior horn of the lateral sulcus right and apart from that there is another gyrus which you actually do not easily see this gyrus uh, until well in proper dissection you know on the deeper aspect of the this uh, parahippocampal gyrus you will find is a dentate gyrus 
this i'll show you in another slide differently okay so ha huh, yes uh, now about the gyrus here this gyrus here between the callosal and this cingulate gyrus this is called medial frontal gyrus sorry this above portion because this was the frontal lobe right and this is the medial surface of the frontal lobe so this is called medial frontal gyrus above the cingulate gyrus and above to this you know this between you know callosal and cingulate is the cingulate gyrus cingulate sulcus and below to that is the cingulate gyrus and the area be, uh, between is splenium and the suprasplenian sulcus right this is called isthmus this is called isthmus so para hippocampal gyrus which is medial to this you know medial occipital medial to the collateral sulcus para hippocampal gyrus has this continuity and it is continuous with the cingulate gyrus with the help of this isthmus through this isthmus isthmus is between splenium and suprasplenial sulcus now look here uh, this portion here below to this calcarine sulcus down below this area here is a tongue shaped area right and this is called lingual gyrus theek and the area between you know parieto occipital sulcus and calcarine sulcus so you can say just above the calcarine sulcus on the medial surface this area is called the cuneus cuneus is above calcarine sulcus and lingula or lingual gyrus is below to the calcarine sulcus okay so these are all the, the major sulcus and gyra on the medial surface now you 